Britain loves its fast Fords, and in recent years, the more accessible of those has been marketed under the ST badge. With the advent of the Mark III Focus, it was only a matter of time before a hot variant appeared. And here it is, with 250 horsepower and 154 miles an hour top speed. It might wear the same badge as before, but plenty has changed compared with its predecessor. Out goes the lovely growling five-cylinder turbo motor, and in its place is a two-litre turbocharged four-cylinder. Cleaner, frugal, and more powerful. And because you can't get a three-door Focus this time around, Ford offers a five-door hatch, or this, the ST Estate. Once again, Ford has fitted these excellent Recaro sport seats to the ST, and on this high-spec ST3 model, they're finished in leather. And also, once again, there's a full complement of gauges for the driver as well. Now, the driving position, that's a lot better than the lofty perch in the old car, but otherwise, in here, it's all current focus, which on this ST3 model is all the toys, but some of the design and that perception of quality, well, it's not as good as it could be. The 2 litre EcoBoost engine makes 250 horsepower and perhaps more importantly 250 pounds foot of torque, enough to sprint the ST wagon to 60 miles an hour in just 6.5 seconds. Given the low entry price point of the ST, that makes it great value for money. On the road, the new ST is an exuberant performer. The turbo comes in early and quickly with almost no lag. From there, you've got a great power band all the way up to the red line. It really is a very quick car. It almost sounds a little bit like the old five-cylinder as well, thanks to some clever ducting of the noise by Ford. The gear shift is light and quick, although like all Focuses, it definitely feels set up for a left-hand drive car. As an ST model, not an RS, the brief for this car is to mix performance with everyday usability. Given that, and the price tag, Ford has elected not to fit a limited slip differential or its torque steer quelling Revo Knuckle front suspension. But it has adopted a new variable ratio steering rack that requires little more than a cross of the wrists to navigate even a tight curve. The new ST handles well, with all the poise we've come to expect from a Ford. And as befits its everyday usable brief, it even rides tolerably well for a hot hatch, certainly better than a McGann Renault Sport. But that instant punch from the engine can be its downfall because on less than smooth, dry surfaces, it can really struggle to put the power down without a limited slip differential. And while the variable ratio steering does make the car feel very alert, I much prefer the natural feeling that you had with the old car. Nevertheless, this is one very quick estate car. At £23,000, the entry-level ST wagon is a bargain. At just over £29,000, this ST3 model, including optional extras such as sat-nav, although well-equipped, is getting uncomfortably close to that performance bargain at the moment, the BMW M135i, although in estate form, it does have something of a USP. It is much easier to run than the old car, however. Ford claims 39.2 mpg and 154 grams per kilometre of CO2, both big improvements, and you can realistically achieve 28 miles per gallon in daily use. Ford is selling this new ST globally for the first time, and in spite of significant technical changes, the appeal of the old model has remained intact. In more basic ST1 or 2 spec, it's a cracking performance bargain, and the estate car body is an added novelty too. But the more expensive it gets, the less competitive it is, and if I was looking for the best hot hatch to drive, I'd be looking elsewhere.